everybody, Prepper Dell here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, this video is part of the prepping series and it covers first aid. So, uh, what do you have about that is um, first aid for you. Now remember with first aid, do not attempt anything above your ability. I was a trained medic for a long time and I've also I do regular first aid courses so um, I carry multiple kits and I have multiple kits. Um, I have treated people before um, different situations I don't need to explain that um, and you know everything from uh, your kid in the house falling over bumping the heads um, cutting yourself in the workplace things like that so first aid covers everything from um, a bad headache to Let's just be graphic and say explosion, gunshots, trauma, death. Okay, so this this is my first aid part of um, my prepping series. So let's cover a few of the packs that I have. Now with first aid, um, first aid I treat like all my all my other kits. Uh, I check them. Um, I I check them. You know, uh, monthly. Um, and other kits I actually change about daily, weekly, depending on what I'm doing. So I have the, the normal um, first aid kit. This this is from St. John's Ambulance, so it's all from your local ones like St. Andrews and things like that, different regions. Um, again, standard first aid kit, been bought for £12 on Amazon. Um, you've got everything in this. Your plasters, burn soothe wound cleaning wipes, um, CPR face shields, everything like this. This one here is primarily a vehicle one because of what's in it. You should always have a first aid kit, any vehicle you're in, whatever you're doing. So that's one of the first aid kits. This one's a little bit different. This one is part of my everyday carry kit. Um, I do a lot of tree work, um, I'm landscaping work, things like this. So. Um, I carry this one and I change it about depending on what I'm doing as well. So an example of what I carry in this. Painkillers, anodines, um, sterile solution for washing out your wounds for your eyes. A, a good rescue knife, cutting knife. There's also scissors for this, for cutting the clothing. And then in the main part, we've got Celox granules, emergency blanket, and a trauma dressing, field dressing. This is the British Army standard issue field dressings. I love these. I, I've trained with these all my life and used them all my life, so I like these. Um, commonplace equivalent of that is the um, Israeli bandage between the four and the six inch size. Six inch size being the most common. So that is that is my everyday carry kit, um, trauma kit. So I would call, I would call that a trauma kit. Everything's covered in there. You notice I haven't put tourniquet in that. I do change the tourniquet about. I use combat ready tourniquets. So that's the military tourniquets. If I had to use it, you can see this is sealed. Um, I like to keep the tourniquet sealed. Um, there's no contamination or anything like that. Not that you're worried about that when someone's lost half a limb. You just want to stop the bleeding. But um, I check the dates on it, everything like that. I know that's not been damaged. That's primarily why I keep it sealed. It's got no contamination from any fuel source. Um, with it being the type of work we do with chainsaws and things like that. There's no oil and fuel contaminating that. Um, making it weaker. Causing probable um, fails within it. The stitching's fine. It's in a sealed bag. It's absolutely fine. So check your kit. Tourniquet is a very touchy subject. It used to be frowned upon um, but now it's becoming more and more taught in the workplace and around places. I've not always been a one for using tourniquets. I have used them before but I used makeshift tourniquet rather than um, a genuine one. But yeah, it's it's some, a tourniquet is, is a, a last resort, a total last resort. Um, maybe that's something that should be covered on other videos. Too many people don't know what they're doing and put tourniquets in all the first aid kits. Why put a tourniquet in if you don't know what it's about? Like I said, only treat to your ability. This is my outdoors kit. 
this is on a rip stop so you can rip it off put it on the molly it's on velcro so you can just grab it rip it off again keep this high vis not everything's tactical in the field um, you know if you're on the side of a mountain in the snow you want you want it to be seen the, the blood group on it is mine um, survival whistle light sticks waterproof pads sharpie pens inside again everything you use for your environment so we've got sterile dressings um, we've got an implement for cutting off uh, clothing doing a bit, a bit more cutting work for cutting off straps things like that we've also got the sharpie pens uh, micropause tape foil blankets again you'd add the tourniquet to that and the compression dressing so that's that's the outdoor kit these two are a little bit more comprehensive so we're going to this this is the survival net systems so this one is a smaller version of this so what I like about these is I like the, com the compartments inside and the compactness of it so let's have a look I do add extra things to it we're doing that all the time so we've got the personal compartment so um, there you, you can put your own pills your own medication in there and personal details for you so if someone grabbed your med kit they'd go to that part of it CPR kit face shield what not um, skin, skin cleaning wipes burns things for burns minor wounds wounds cleaning burns and abrasions pressure bandages wounds dressings again sterile sterile solutions um, safety pins hypoallergenic secure dressings um, tweezers marker pen like I always said no matter who you are it's always always good to have prompt cards because you don't know how you're going to react under a situation uh, multiple casualties if you've got a prompt you can pass it to somebody to, to even help as well so even the best of kits will have prompt cards in it this kit I'll carry in my bug out bag um, I like this kit I think they're great kits um, they can be a wee bit pricey but as for off the shelf first aid kits it has more or less everything in it that I, I like um, I, I would put the tourniquet in that and I would put a military field dressing or, or two in that and um, that's just what I like that's the civil, civil in, civilian equivalent to the compression dressings they are good the cheaper but it's what you're used to so that's the, the smaller survival they call that the survival first aid kit so that's the smaller in the series of this and on the front is everything colour coded within the bag for um, for what it's used for, for what type of trauma, um, information, utilities, hygiene. It's all there. It's even got the codes on it for scanning. Um, you can also reorder the stock through it because you should always check your uh, always check your stock. So you've also got baby CPR on it. Your CPR cards are in the back for adults, babies, and children. So that there is the Survival First Aid Kit by Emergency Solutions. A big one, again, by Emergency Solutions. Um, I really like these kits. They're really robust. It's more or less the same as the small one I showed you, but um, you're almost quadrupling on the, on the kit that's in it with a few extras, like the ice packs within the personal part. and. Um, Let's just get this opened out. So as you can see it's a lot more comprehensive. You can see that. So different types of wound closures, suture kit, I've, I've added the suture kit into that. Burns dressings, a lot more compressions, um, CPR, face shields, sterile waters again, a lot more bandages, um, plastic bags, skin cleaning wipes, gloves, foil blankets, Again, on this side, we've got a lot more minor wounds, dressings, um, scissors, um, splint pins, more of your pills and things you can put in there, um, anodine, paracetamol, coproximal, always be aware of your casualties, some of those are thinning, some, some of those painkillers actually thin the blood, so you don't want to be doing that too much, um, you know, you should only really administer 
something like an anodine if if you if you know the victim's ha having a heart attack or had a heart attack rather than just saying oh well there you go cut your arm and give you a paracetamol or a coproximal and then they have an allergic reaction to that and you've got a whole different case on your hands so yeah so that's just a larger kit which I really like there's a lot a lot in this um, triangle triangular badges is more antiseptic wipes always 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 remember check your kit check your kit there's no point in having this and then you go there some of it doesn't work because you haven't replaned it you haven't checked it you haven't seen what's out of date um, you know so you've taken you move you move kit about torn a kit I'll add it to whatever kit I take out obviously I wouldn't carry every single kit that you see there doesn't go out with me daily this is just part of the prepping and then down to my everyday um, my everyday trauma dressings so that is my prepping on my first aid kits we could go on on on, on about first aid and um, break it all down but I don't see I don't see any point in breaking kits down I'm not here to give you a first aid lesson and instructions on first aid I'm just showing you what I carry um, and keep as part of my first aid stock so that's an insight into my prepping first aid kits thanks for watching everybody remember check your preps and with first aid don't do above your ability there's people out there you just um, do the best you can until the professionals get there. So don't do above your ability. And uh, keep safe everybody. Keep prepping. Prep Adele.